Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. And uh, we're going to be playing this game and doing it a little bit different than you may have seen on other channels. So as you may or may not know, this game allows you to uh, pit 500,000, or not even, maybe not, 25,000 mobs against another 25,000 mobs to see who wins, that kind of thing. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and create a team, a group, if you will, that takes on monsters uh, or bosses, if you will. <laughs> so what we have here is we have a group um and i'll explain each class in just a moment and we have a mob this is king crushbone for those of you who've played everquest you know of the zone crushbone this is king crushbone anyway so the way this works is i have a tank a rogue a monk now these seem um fine and you may be wondering why this is a rogue or a ranger and this is a wizard in this situation i have a king crushbone planted meaning that he's going to hold the line he's not going to move so because of that i went ahead and made it so that if the tank dies everyone dies and we don't want it to be any kind of cheating. We want the last blow that, say, this guy, if he's the last one alive, which I doubt, because he's going to be number three on the aggro meter, uh, if there was such a thing, um, because of the fact that he is a wizard. He does uh, the highest damage output per hit, but he doesn't hit the fastest. So the rogue is going to be the number one killed after the warrior. Uh, but I've done a lot of tweaking. And I don't even know if this is going to work or not. Uh, but I've done a lot of tweaking to make sure that this guy doesn't die easily. But um, this guy doesn't die easily either. It's like a real group. It's all centered around the tank. And if the tank dies then the whole group dies because while he has close to 40,000 hit points, everyone else in the group only has 3,000 hit points <laughs> or 3,300 um, 3, hit points, 2,600 hit points, and 3,500 hit points. So in this kind of uh, situation, the tank is the only one who can hold it down. But we're going against somebody who can hit for like 1,200 hit points. And he has a damage modifier. But again, because this guy is a tank, he has a resistance modifier to damage. So you will see that he's going to throw up his shield. That gives him the ability to block. So while he would normally probably be taking every hit per swing of the of the boss he is probably only going to take one hit uh every four hits or every eight hits and while you it's hard to see that um if you know what his damage output is and then you see how many swings he does before it actually affects your character or how much the damage is modified meaning that if it was um uh, an 1100 damage hit and it only hit for 500 damage you can see that by the amount of hit points you're losing per hit so this should be a fun fight uh, let's go ahead and uh, see how it all pans out I hope these guys range themselves out enough uh, if not this should be a very fast fight because um, every second of damage is required to take this guy out here we go okay all right Oh, 
Looks pretty good so far. Nobody is taking any hits other than the tank and this guy. And you can see by how fast he's hitting. Even though this guy looks like he's spazzing out, this guy is hitting much faster. And he's hitting much harder as well. Um, and what's funny about this is watching this crumble. Because if the tank goes down, you'll see he's going to die, then him, then him, and finally the ranger is going to be last. Because he does keep an aggro meter. And we lived! Okay, so here's the fun point. Um, let's see how much hit points he had left. Because that decides how we're going to modify the group because maybe they did too much damage uh, or uh, if we're going to send them on to a harder mob. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so he ended up with 10,000 hit points left. The way it was working is um, whenever the fight was over, the named or King Crushbone was left with around 18,000 hit points. So I think this ended up really well, especially going into the next fight where the mob has maybe 10,000 hit points less, but he hits for a whole lot more. So uh, let me go ahead and load that up, put him in uh, the right location, and uh, and see how this, this goes this time. So be right back. Okay, so we are back. Now, this is going to be a different kind of battle than we saw before. The last battle was fast. This is going to be much faster. So, here's the situation. Um, I've had to boost everyone's attack speed, damage. Um, I've had to increase the hit points of the warrior up to 65,000 and he started at 2,800 or 28,000 I believe um, because this guy hits for 1,800 damage and he has a damage modifier plus he resists attacks uh, and he has I think it was 70,000 or 700,000 or 800,000 hit points this fight is so fast because it's all about the DPS um, actually, I should make all of these guys have, um, like, faster run speed so that they get into them. But, um, this is, this will come down to literally 1,000, uh, 1,000 to 5,000 hit points if we live or die. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, and there's uh, that's how close we were to death. It's uh, 2,600. So that was actually a really good battle. Um, if if that would have happened just a sliver different, if he would have hit me one more time, this whole thing would have wiped. It doesn't matter how close he was to death, he would have insta-killed everyone. That's That's how hard this guy hits. So, um, definitely, definitely a very hard fight. Much faster. The next one is going to be a battle of attrition, meaning that it's going to be a longer battle, less damage output, but a whole lot more hit points. So, I will be back with that fight. And hopefully this will be a little bit better than the last few fights, because these have been extreme battles of really close hit points so um hopefully you'll enjoy this next one okay so this time we're going to be taking on magmar he is an ogre uh with a crazy shield uh he attacks with both hands i believe i have him set to do 500 damage with a 10 attack bonus he has a really high ac bonus and he has um, around one and a quarter million hit points. So this should be an interesting fight. Um, I have no clue how this is going to turn out. 
but I expect that the warrior is probably going to die. Um, which means everyone's going to die. So let's go ahead and uh, get started and see how this thing turns out. One thing about this setup is that I have it well placed enough that he is the first one who hits. And then these guys come in one after another. I really wish I could dial this to a certain point where this doesn't look absolutely nuts like it is um, but I don't know how you would dial that back I guess I'd have to go through the numbers how much hit points this guy would have to be at say um, uh, if these guys did 60 damage per hit and um, you had maybe a 600 damage uh, wizard and a I don't know whoa that's a new uh, situation right there we had a warrior go down and a rogue go down that means the wizard would have been in the next one hit uh, he wasn't uh, let's check him did they kill him right as the rogue died so pretty much this guy had enough health left to do um to do like 2600 hit points uh before he ended up dying that's close that is as close as you can get that i believe i mean i don't know how else i could get that any closer so i have one more surprise for you guys and i will be right back <laughs> this is um, for those of you who know who Hydra Sink is, aka Thum the Barbarian. This is um, this goes out to you, sir. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and end with this battle. This is um, the battle against Thum Chickapoo. Again, um, like I said before, this is an homage to uh, Hydra Sink, who um, who he's, he likes chickens. And um, uh, he even has a shirt that uh, he ended up giving away in a video. So definitely check him out. Um, it has um, Thune the Barbarian on the front. And it has a sexy chicken on the back. Just, just uh, it's pretty cool. But anyway, um, here's, uh, here's Thune Chicky Poo right here. And um, we'll see how this whole situation goes goes down. And uh, in three, two, one. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't even say what kind of damage this guy had or anything. He has five million hit points. He does 50 damage per hit. He has a attack modifier of 5,000. Um, and uh, he has no defensive modifier. So he, we can hit him as hard as um, we possibly can. But that doesn't mean that, uh, I mean, he's going to be taking away hit points super fast. But with the defenses of my tank, will my tank live or will he die? Here we go. Alright, make sure everyone is attacking. Looks like we got everybody in pretty good. Tank is, as you can see, he's bleeding like a faucet. And uh, that's not good. <laughs> it's hilarious. Go check it. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The chicken. Chicken's gonna win. Chicken's gonna win. Wow. Them chicky poo one. Oh, let's go ahead and see what kind of hit points. Oh, barely even touched. It still has three, uh, three million hit points. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Them chicky poo, poo lived another day, and um, I will see you guys next time. This is Safer Deck. Peace out.